Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dank Deck, and today we're playing some more Mind Industry. So, last episode, we were trying to build an oxidization chamber in order to obtain oxide, which we've basically nearly finished. In fact, I should be able to finish this now with the tungsten that I've got. That is now needing some power, which I should just be able to do that for. That's generating heat power. And now we've got oxide. I don't know what I need to do with oxide. Oh, we need a chemical combustion chamber, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need to research right there. We need five oxide to be able to get this to work. Generates power from oxide. Right. First things first. Let's get this going in this way. Helps if you unpause that. Let's have an overflow duct go in there. I'm pretty sure this is going to want to go this way. Probably not right this second. Right, there's the five oxide that we need. New content unlocked. We've got to build the combustion chamber. We need 40 oxide. Hmm. What does this actually need to work then? This needs ozone and it needs oxide. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there no way I can do that? There is not. Right. Scrap this. Scrap this. Scrap this a second. Scrap this. <clears throat> Scrap this. And can we get ourselves a chamber like that? Which is then going to go into chemical com combustion chamber right there. And then that's going to go next door to an oxidization chamber. Why has this got a, a direction? I'm just going to bump that up one right there. Actually, I don't like this placement. Let me move that there. Move that there. Just go like that. And then we can have underflow duct going like that. You're going to come back. Well, th this is all stupid in that sense. Maybe it's not worth doing it like this. Maybe it would just make more sense to move this further out. Like this. And we can go that straight in there like that. You can then go into this. Screw it. Let's let's do it further this way. You go like that. And then like that. I wonder if they can all feed into each other. I'm wondering if the oxide can go straight from this into that one. Uh, you now need more power, don't you? That one right there should do all of that. You need this coming in. So what do we do with the heat? Is my next question. <clears throat> this doesn't need heat or anything, does it? No. Do you keep bu building up the heat or is just that it or what? I'm assuming later down the line we can use this heat for something. Um, I kind of want to connect that back up for a minute. <clears throat> just to clear the system through. I turned it off. Well, I cut a piece of it out so it wasn't using my power constantly. And I think at this point we can probably put it back it. Uh, cut it back out. Yeah, cut it back out. Just waiting on the oxide. <clears throat> See, now we're using a load of power again. For minus 900. Rather than where we were before. I could use this hydrogen on some of these drills. It'd be a bit finicky to get it in with how it's been designed. I'm not that bothered about that. All this time, though, we are building our army up as well. Don't forget that one. Oh, can I perhaps finish this one? I doubt we can finish both of them right this second, but... Hey, we've got two of them done. 
We do kind of need to get this wall built up. And you've got ammo, you've got ammo. Good. We've got some form of a defense when um, we inevitably get attacked in a minute. Oh, this needed tungsten as well, didn't it? Only needed 40. Well, as you can see, the tungsten's backed up all the way down this line. So every time tungsten gets mined, it all goes straight into the core. We're so nearly there. Just a little bit more oxide and a little bit more tungsten. Next tungsten harvest should do it, I think. Enemies approaching in eight minutes. Okay. So this just needs this coming in now, doesn't it? <clears throat> um, and we've got the pump. We need water. How much does this need coming in? 40. We can get 80 from right there. 40 per second. Yeah, so this should be enough for two of these. I'm wondering if building it there was a bad idea. Maybe building it there and there would have been better. Get rid of that a second. Build a pump there first. What are you short on? Oxide again. For God's sake. <clears throat> and tungsten. We desperately need more tungsten. I guess I should have just got one of these power things going before doing anything like I've just done. Ah, oh dear. Maybe I can use my uh, units to start branching out now. I think we're needing oxide at the minute because we've got four tungsten in reserve. How much oxide does this need? It actually doesn't. Oxide's just a byproduct of that, I guess. Hook uh, 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 that power up there like that. You need hydrogen. Please say I've not made my pipes too close here. That is going to be pretty difficult to get out of there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to build that there. This needs ozone as well. There's your ozone. Build the pump right there. That goes into there like that. Oh yeah, the hydrogen's not coming out of here properly. Oh. Just jump straight across, come down, go around. That's now producing. Probably better off just building a router there to start with. Oh yeah. That puts 600 power out. Right? Build me another one. Go like that. Oh, I'm going to have to build a bridge here. Build a bridge, get over it. There, there. Get rid of that one. So this is about to kick all of our power back into gear. And actually, I could put that back down and not worry about it. We're actually positive on power. Kind of a little bit short on uh, oxide. Not oxide, sorry. I mean, I could build this round, another one of these down here. Are you going to chew through the amount of ozone we've got coming out of here? I think you are. Go like that. 
you go up, jump across. That you should be able to jump across there, I'm sure. And I need more tungsten. <clears throat> at least this is harvesting at a reasonable speed now. Maybe reasonable is not fast enough. Yeah, the ozone won't be enough for all of this. Again, I don't know what this heat's for. Maybe when the heat gets full, it blows up like the other reactors used to do. You go down here, across here, and up here. I actually need to cut you back even further. And then we need you coming out of here and jumping across to that like that. You've not got any power or anything, have you? You've not got any water either. <clears throat> ah, I, I never thought about water. Genius plays. That was going to go like that. There's no way for me to get water in here. Yeah, there is. For God's sake. Give me a bridge. Go like that. Go like that. Get rid of that one. In. Hydrogen there, hydrogen there, ozone there. I don't know if we've got enough ozone coming in for this or what. How much does it produce? Four per second. These use two per second, so that's that one gone. This uses two per second. I should be producing enough ozone then. So I'm making eight per second. We're using six per second. Are we not? Oh, it seems to be working. Anyway. Um, let's come up this way. And I kind of want to get another impact drill. 1.16 is the best, isn't it? And can we just have a little water pipe coming from there and going in like that? Can we explore? We cannot explore. I guess it's a case of I'm just wanting to make all of these up. Realistically, I want to get some turrets made up down this way, don't I? Just on the off chance. Um, so these ones can fire tungsten, right? Yeah. We'll go to there. We'll go to there. We'll go to there. Just because. Yeah, I know this is going to eat through more of my tungsten, but screw it. Just on the off chance they make it through. Oh, we've maxed out on the ships. We're just getting the mech fabricators up, which I could have actually been making big boy tanks at this point. Probably should have been making big boy tanks at this point. Did I cut the silicon off? I didn't cut the silicon off. I made it so that it was all going into unit production first and not splitting it in half. We kind of need to go back to splitting it in half now. We've got plenty of power at least. I know this seems dead stupid. Run it all the way back down there. You've got no power, so you won't be doing a great deal of anything, will you? And now you can send your tungsten back down this way that can help fill this up quickly. At least that's the plan. You're not getting enough water. That's the issue. Well, at this point, I'm sure we said this before, I can chop that out and put another one of these in for water.
And then we've got 30, 60 coming in. 65 coming in. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight, sixty, seventy, eighty. There we are. We've got ninety water coming in there. We are going to be losing power, but I think that's until these get kicked up into gear properly. Realistically, I could build one more of these, and that would use all of the ozone that we've got coming in. I'm okay with being at slightly lesser amounts of power. We're only losing 50 power per second. That's not bad. I could always cut these off later if I wanted to. I wonder. Would this even be possible? Go router there and way out. Way out and router there. And can we have a tank refabricator we don't get enough tungsten for this crap let's not bother if i could get enough tungsten just to finish off this build that'd be nice i was wondering why that was left open I mean, I'm assuming they're going to attack from the top. It doesn't seem like there's any other direction for them to attack from. Let me just get a screenshot before I get wiped out and lose my game. That'll do. Hey, we're not doing bad for Oxide. Is there anything else we can research at this point? Uh, no, no. What are you? Large payload mass driver. We need thorium. Nothing down that way to be unlocked. What are you? Uh, the sublimate fires continuous jet of flames at enemy targets. Pierces armor. That's the um, the laser beams of death, isn't it? What do they need out of curiosity to work? Ammo. They need ten ozone per second. Holy crap. I mean, realistically, I could build more power down here, but I need more water. Water is my limiting factor at the minute. I mean, I could turn that into a water doodah, but we're already losing power as it is. Is there any way that I can cheesily... I I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do this. Let's go. Overflow right there. You come across here. Mm, I think that'll be okay. Just to get more tungsten coming in. <clears throat> I don't think that interferes with anything. Only tungsten was coming in there. There's one enemy core. Right, this is where I get nervous. Can we just push through with the army that we've got? Or is it worth pushing at? No, we cannot attack that. He's got two lasers there, plus everything else. Oh... Steady. They've got multiple turrets. I will need better than that. I will definitely need better units. What I've got at the minute isn't enough. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, I could build that right there. Hmm, would that be a big enough gap? 
I think that'd be a big enough gap. Put that one there, put that one, that's already in the right spot. We just need to bolster our defences. Just think, there's not water here like I had before. I had water on the last base. Definitely want more of these, then. And one of them there as well. Come on, don't run out of tungsten. Good. Yeah, we need to at least be making the super tanks. Is it worth making the super tanks, or should we just go for the... Super crawlers. I think going for both of them will be a bit too much. How are we completely out of graphite at this point? I think graphite should be coming in plenty. Have you not got a thing? As I say, definitely make sure you've got ammo coming in. Loop this back round this way a little bit more. I can chop that up. Um, can we have a bridge and a bridge, please? Can we have a reinforced tank there? Chop that out there. And there. Mm -mm, itchy face. Go like that, and you can come out like this. Bring it back a bit. So you're actually going to have to go out. I hate it that it does it like that. Like that. Just get a bit more graphite coming in. Would probably help if you also... We need a liquid bridge. Go in there and there. These haven't got power. Have these not had power at all forever? Have I never set them up with power? If so, I'm a massive moron. Don't answer that. Alright, super tanks. I don't want to do it, but we need to do it. There, there. And we want conveyor there. In there. I was going to say, you can bridge that. And then we want tank refabricator at the top there. We want mech refabricator there. So they're both going to need silicon. They're both going to need tungsten, I believe. And they're both going to need hydrogen. And we're out of tungsten again. We've not quite got the power coming in either. That is going to run out soon. Why are we making new units? We shouldn't be making new units at the minute. Alright, I can make these. It's graphite, brilliant, and silicon. We got enough graphite to make this last one? Just barely? That's fine by me. Um hydrogen, silicon, titanium. Uh tungsten. Alright, how do we get the hydrogen up here easily? Good question, Batman. I think that line right there is probably the best bet literally just a straight up line god knows where i can take these at actually just right there and you need hydrogen coming across this way so they've got hydrogen in Power's going to be easy enough. That's power sorted right there. We just need... 
this is going to be dead fun. Uh, 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 uh. How I can't go there. <laughs> it's becoming a mess. Actually, power needs to go there. Jump across. Splitter me. Go like that and in. Go down. Go across that way and in. Technically, this should all work. Is there any way I make this work to get a bit more power coming in? It literally just needs hydrogen. It should have enough. We're short on tungsten. Surprise, surprise! That, that needs tungsten to be made as well. This only needs 40 tungsten. I say it only needs 40 tungsten. It's alright, it's backing up slowly. Now that this is full of tungsten. Well, actually, it's not full of tungsten. No, because I've not got the tungsten going into it yet. Mm -hmm. We need... Don't Don't look at this. Just do not look at it. I'm hoping they're still going to be able to get out of there. Just in case they can't go round and down like that. There we are. Just chew away all the rest of my tungsten building super tanks. Um, we are completely out of our backup power. That's fine. I'm 281 oxide at this point. That's not terrible. I don't think the enemy's attacked yet. They don't seem to be too interested in attacking. Um, I am also going to need to do that. That. And that. Please tell me it's not just wasting all that ozone. It doesn't seem like it is. And you just need this stuff coming in from here. And it's going to need 40. Um, I actually think I'm just going to plug this one into that connection right there. Go like that. Like that. And just get you straight in there. I need to get this built because there's technically not enough for all three of these at the minute. But we should be using every molecule of um, ozone that's coming in. We are positive power now. I am stretching it a little bit thin, though. This has got hydrogen coming out, hasn't it? Yeah. What? That, that's not how that works, you fool. <sighs> Go like that. I don't think I've been hooking that all up right. <clears throat> hydrogen's leaving, hydrogen's leaving. That's that's still not correct. I hate to break it to you. Now, they're both flowing into this one right here. You know what would make more sense? Putting one of them there. And then going down and in and just go in like that. Or what would make more sense would actually be going like that and like that. I assume that's working. You know what they say about assuming, but I'm going to assume that that's working. 
Oh, we're good on power. We are not. These have now run out of that. These have now run out of hydrogen, but the hydrogen's getting back up, so the power should get back up. Wait, have I done the same thing here as well? What the Christ is happening? Just, just start me again. I know, I know, I know. You go like that. Router right there. You go like that. Jobs are good. Mm -mm -mm. You know what, again? These containers would be lovely. And you come across there. You go like that. That. And go into another container. You go there and there. You go like that, and then it goes in there, and then into there. Want? I need some tungsten. I'm minus 1.6k power. I should not have cut all this off. But again, why is hydrogen not coming this way properly? That's got ozone in it. Why has this got ozone in it? Fine. I think we've just put ourselves in a like power deathlock sort of thing. Wow, that is slam. I need this one finishing first. Any time today. Any time today? Is it just me or is that flicking between both ears? I think that's a little bit slower than 0 0.21 per second. Just just seems a touch slower than 0 0.21 per second. Oh, thank God. And immediately that puts us back to positive power. So these should be enough hydrogen to support these. <clears throat> we are net net positive on power now. Well, that's good. And now we just need a ridiculous amount of tungsten coming in. Oh, look. Big boy tanks. You guys get going up this way. Say so these have got plenty of resources coming in to make a massive army up. Um, we definitely want to be attacking that top base first. <sighs> Would anybody like to point out to the class why this is not correct? I hate everything. Get rid of it. I don't care. So to point out to anybody why this is wrong, this is a ship fabricator. This is the mech fabricator. I've built all this disaster in the wrong place. Can't I just go? Literally straight into this and make this work. Um, where is it? Mech refabricator. If I went straight there... We could bring this across like that and go in. Silicon could go down here and go in. And then we could get this right here and go in. Does that technically work? <laughs> oh dear. We, we, we can't. We, no. This, this is a no on the pretty base front. Oh, you need power now as well. That's nice. There you go. Do you also send the big boys up this way? Are we still positive power? No, we're just slightly losing power. But I'm fine with that. It's only while we're making these units. Once we've made 15 of these big boys, 
and 15 of these big boys, our power will be positive again. Um, and realistically, I could actually save us some, um, some power at the minute by putting that. Technically, we don't need this functioning at the minute. So that right there should save it. Look at all the power that we're saving. Jesus Christ. This is where you want storage tanks filling up. I hate the fact that I can't do the coding things that turn off the conveyor belts. I just need to remember them. Um, so you're 8 out of 15. You're 1 out of 15. I think next episode we might go for an attack. With the tanks that we've got, the big boy tanks, we should be somewhat decent. Put up a decent attack. And I think our defense is kind of solid. I'm not saying it's immaculate, but it, it should withstand, I think. <sighs> do you really want to see me do this all over again? Probably not. Anyway, that's where we're leaving it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback, greatly appreciated. As always, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!